There are over 88,000 kilometres of hedgerows in Wales. That's enough hedge to stretch twice around the world. Wales has lost an estimated 25 to 30 per cent of its hedgerows since 1945. Immediately after the war, there was, of course, pressure on increasing food production, making uh, fields larger, agricultural equipment got larger, um, tractors got wider, so sometimes narrow uh, gateways and hedgerows were removed to make bigger unit fields. However, there are now efforts to arrest this habitat loss. With funding from Welsh Government's Nature Fund, a partnership has been formed with Keep Wales Tidy as its lead, alongside the Woodland Trust and the University of South Wales. The Long Forest Project is a way really of raising awareness and interest in our hedgerows. Um, it's a practical conservation project and we do a number of activities from um, practical hedge laying, which is a very skilled uh, task which people can learn um, in free training, through to something that is a little bit easier for perhaps uh, the younger members of the community. What we are aiming to do with this project is to reinforce the, the importance of hedges and ensure that the people working with them so farmers and landowners can sort of sustain them. Hedgerows are crucial habitats in the Welsh landscape for a myriad of species. Indeed they are home to 47 species of conservation concern including 13 which are globally threatened. Many species of bats use hedgerows and other linear features for navigation, for foraging, for roosting. Dormice are classically a species that are associated with hedgerows and woodland habitats. Hedgehogs as well are another species and they find um, really significant important cover at the base of hedgerows. Hedgerows are, are thought to be an important habitat for certain species of rare bumblebee. In terms of nesting and feeding, yeah, a whole variety of birds. There are an estimated 1.8 million hedgerow trees in the UK. They are an important part of the hedge ecosystem and significant habitats in themselves. There's a whole habitat, both in each individual tree as well as in the row of hedges. Given that we only have 4 to 5 per cent of our native woodland left in Wales, um, the habitat that hedgerow trees provide is hugely important. Hedgerows in urban areas are just as important as hedgerows in other areas such as in rural and farming landscapes and a lot of people like to see hedgerows in the area because particularly when they're well managed it gives them a sense of place and an understanding um, of the landscape around them. Hedgerows are also important in other ways, one of them being the prevention of erosion. If um, there's a big area without anything growing in it, the soil tends to get carried along by the water and goes into rivers and so on. So it can actually help to keep um, the quality of uh, the soil in fields. Stopping flooding and halting erosion of the soil is also important to farmers. Indeed, hedges are essential to farmers in one crucial way. Big hedges, good hedges, a shade. It's like having a shed. The sheep will t snuggle up under the hedge in the wind on the cold, wet night, and you won't get the losses. You loads of lambs are lost from from hypothermia, and if you save one lamb, it, it adds up to, to significant savings. The management and maintenance of hedges is a tradition and skill in which many farmers take a great pride. Uh, I've been hedging since I left school. Hedge laying is an art. And of course, they're all styles of hedging. We only go, want to go to the next county from Breckenshire or near into Radnorshire, where you've got a different style, different style again in Carmarthenshire. I wouldn't like to see the, the skill of the hedging die out at all. Because once you skip a generation, it doesn't come back, does it? If more trees are planted, hedges laid and maintained, with the help from initiatives like the Long Forest Project, we could all be more optimistic about their future. Lots of people who um, live in countries of the world that are too dry or cold or arid to have hedgerows really appreciate our hedgerows very much. The, the response that we've had has been really positive and hopefully something that we can do again. Imagine what it would look like if we didn't have any hedgerows uh, you know, within Wales. How, how much more poor would we be?